My mother was very fond of one of the preachers in Boston that I frankly did not get along with very well, and that is the Reverend Mr. Cotton Mather. Uh, Mr. Mather had had several difficult con uh, conflicts, disputes, shall we say, with my brother James. But nevertheless, upon my last visit as a young man um, uh, to Boston, uh, my mother urged me to go and pay a call upon Mr. Mather. Now, I never, I never disputed that Mr. Mather was a good man, and, and, and indeed, I was pleased in, in spite of the disputes that had, had existed between us, um, that he received me graciously in his, his library and sat me down and gave me some good advice, and, and we discussed a number of things. And, you know, um, though I differed with him in some regards, I, I found him a very respectable um, uh, gentleman and many others. At last, I thought of time that I should take my leave, and he showed me out by a different door than the one I had come in. Uh, and this was a door that went out through the back of his house, which he thought would be more convenient to me. Uh, now, as he showed me out, I was turned to look at him, so I was not looking in the direction I was going, uh, as we were conversing. And then he said to me suddenly, Stoop! Stoop! I knew not what he meant by that. Uh, and so I continued without stooping and ran my head into a beam of wood that hung low in the passageway through which I was passing. Uh, he had attempted to warn me that I should bend a bit or I should hit my head on the beam. And I, of course, I did not listen. And, then, and so I hit my head. Um, uh, God, gave myself a good thwacking, too. Um, Mr. Mather, he picked me up, and he was always one to take advantage of such uh, situations. And he said, now, as you see, young man, uh, let me give you a good piece of advice. As you go through life, stoop now and then, uh, and you will avoid many a hard knock if you do. <laughs> I have often thought of that advice, and um, well, especially when I have grown too proud and uh, lifted my head too high and uh, realized there was a wisdom in his remark.